Hello, my name is Chris, and this is my channel, Big Guys Hike 2. And today we're going to go over my packing list for my first overnight adventure with my daughter, and we're going to be hiking the Palmetto Trail for two days on the uh, Onaki Trail section, and we're going to be doing roughly 12 miles. So, this is my list. Um, I've got a Gossamer 60 pack. And on it, I had them add uh, their uh, foam holder here, and I have a REI cloth for uh, wiping sweat off. So that's my bag, and I did get the upgrade on the uh, butt pad so that it is a little more. I do sweat a lot, so this is supposed to help with that. I'm just using a trash bag for my liner. I have off an Alpine, an uh, older pack. I have the pack cover, so I'm going to use that from that pack as my pack cover. My luxury item is a fold-up chair. This is two pounds. It's not the smaller chair because of my weight. I have to use a little bit bigger one, hopefully, though. Uh, another 30, 40 pounds, and I'll be able to use the lighter one and drop a pound off my uh, thing. But when you're old, sitting on the ground just isn't going to work. Next thing I have is I have a Kuyu uh, Super Down uh, Puffy that I'll be using. I have uh, camp shoes. And I have my uh, Sawyer Squeeze. And I have a Seanot bag, two liter bag in there, and a couple caps, and an extra couple of uh, gar. Uh, Ziploc bags in there as well for garbage, bringing garbage out, leave no trace, and also some of um, anything else I would need to get waterproof if one of the bags damaged off. Next thing is, is I have an Enlightened Revolution sleeping bag. This is a zero degree bag, and I have ordered a 20 degree bag because I found out that uh, this thing is definitely works in the freezing cold, but uh, anything above like 38 degrees and you are sweating it, at least I am. So I'm going to go with a 20 degree bag as soon as it comes in, but that's at about 6 degrees. So right now i got to do what i got to do. I have the Nemo Tensor uh, Wide Sleeping Pad. I have an Arrows Pillow, uh, the Sea to Summit pillow, large. Um, I'm a side sleeper and I also turn a lot and I have a bad shoulder so I have to prop my shoulder up when I sleep on something and uh, I've got some neck issues too so um, yes I'm bringing pillows and I'm bringing a second pillow which is a trichology pillow and as you'll see I also have a stuff sack from Z-Pack that doubles as a pillow so I'll even be using that as a pillow so pretty much everything in my tent I'll be trying to use as a pillow. So this is my uh, first aid and uh, toiletries. I have toothpaste, toothbrush that I shorten the handle, some floss, some body glide, and some lip balm. My daughter is carrying the uh, sun tan lotion, so I'll be carrying the insect repellent. I have a first aid pouch that I've kind of modified. I just use the pouch so I know where everything's at. I have my repair tape for the tent. I have a pencil with some tenation tape on it. Um, I brought some Q-tips because I always like to clean out my ears every so often. Um, some medications. I'm also a diabetic, so I have my diabetic medicine here. A pair of tweezers uh, in case there's ticks. Earplugs for my daughter because I won't leave them. She'll leave them because I'll be snoring. And some band-aids. And that's about it in there. So, oh. next, I have my uh, boot kit. I have some toilet paper, some wipes. I dehydrated out some of the sanitation wipes or the 
baby wipes, so they're dry, so they're a lot lighter. And then I have some uh, hand sanitizer. And then I went with the Vargo uh, trial to test that out to see how nice that works. So that's what I have for a poop kit. Next, I have my ditty bag. And then my ditty bag. If you watched the video previous with my daughter's pack, um, we're going out over the weekend, so we have enough power to recharge everything without having to plug anything in and charge the, the battery back up, so we're not going to bring any of that stuff, but we do have it, but we're not bringing it. I have headphones. I have a 20,000 uh, milliamp uh, anchor. I have the uh, Nitron uh, 260 or 360 headlamp. And then I have two cords. This one's for my cell phone. I'll be bringing an iPhone uh, 10 Max, and that's the charger for that. And then this is the charger for the headlamp. My headlamp is uh, rechargeable. So that'll be all the electronics that I'm bringing. Next, should have done this sooner, but this is my tent. I have a Kuyu Mountain Star two-man tent. I have the uh, fly and the uh, footprint and also have the cargo net that goes inside it and I'll be taking this inside the, the inside my pack and then on the outside of the pack I'll have my poles and my tent stakes. Next will be my rain gear. I have uh, REI's uh, Gore-Tex Mittens. I have REI's Gore-Tex rain jacket, and you'll find out um, I wear a kilt when I go hiking, so I have a rain kilt to go over that. Next will be all my rain gear that I'm, or I mean all my clothing that I'll be bringing along, and I have them in a stuff sack that can get inverted to make into a pillow, as I said earlier, and um, it's supposed to get down below 30 degree, or 32 degrees below freezing while we're out, so I have a Bella Cabla because I'm sleeping in a quilt. My daughter's in a mummy bag, so she won't need that. I have possum down gloves and a hat because I'm bald in case uh, while we're out on the trail if it gets cold. I have a dragon uh, wool, my outdoor vitals, uh, three-fourths uh, leggings. Those will be my sleeping gear. For my tops, I have the 200 uh, wool by Kuyu, and it's a three-quarter zip with a hoodie for my sleep. pair of uh, thicker wool socks for sleeping in. Then while I'm out on the trail, I have a uh, 145 wool uh, hoodie, three-fourths zip in case it gets cooler to wear over top of my t-shirt. Um, an extra pair of uh, ex officio uh, underwear. I get the long uh, nine inch inseam to help with chafing and I have darn tough socks and Ninjinji sock liners with the toe with the uh, individual toes and then I will carry because we're the trail we're going on the water will be a limited at, at the part of it um, so I'm carrying two liters of water and I also have a clip for the one to be carried on the front of my jacket. For my cook system, I'm using a slightly larger, or I'm using the same GSI cup for my, and I drink coffee, so I'll have coffee in here. Inside here, I'm keeping my uh, MSR, or actually it's a jet boil uh, stove. 
and I have a totes 1100 uh, pot. I have a windscreen, titanium windscreen screen that I put in the side pocket of the pot, the pot holder. I have a little bit of biodegradable soap and a little scrub brush to clean. Uh, I'm bringing the larger uh, gas canister. I have a stand and then I have a mini Bic. I also have a small pair of, uh, or a small Swiss Army knife that has a little knife on it, but it also has for nail trimming. I've got a pair of scissors and a toothpick on there, but that's so I can uh, trim my nails while I'm out on the trail. I also have two uh, P39s, or P38s, and a P57 can opener, which is the Army issue. And then I have a piece of chamois to clean out my pot with and dry out my pot. So that's what I'm taking. Then, I also have a Z-Packs bear bag for all my food, and I have the same thing, dehydrated food, and I have a few uh, energy bars that are uh, sugar-free, and some coffee for myself, and then I will be wearing, I have sunglasses, the Ultra Lone Peak 5s. Love these things. Shoes, as you can see. Last time I was out, they got thoroughly soaked in the mud. The, uh, I have speed laces on them. Those are my speed laces. I have Dirty Girl gaiters to go over top of those. I have a uh, Sun hat, a real light REI, uh, quick wicking to wear. If, unless it's cold, and then I'll go back to the fleece toboggan. I'm gonna have a neck knife. Um, can't, but uh, old habits die. I'm military just don't feel like you should be out in the woods without a knife. So at least it's smaller. I have a, a gator. Us old people, especially old, fat, heavy people, I have been having a little bit of problem with my knee uh, swelling up. So I've got a knee brace for my right knee, darn tough socks to wear, toe liners again. This is the uh, 120 uh, QU Merino wool t shirt. Be wearing that. Ex officio underwear and I'll be wearing the sports kilt as my shorts and a cheap uh, super cheap uh, campers wallet uh, it seals up so I can put money in there and credit card and keep it dry so that's what I have there I showed the sunglasses right sunglasses all right so that's all my pack um, I'll pack it up, and at the end of the video, I'll edit in a picture of what the pack looks like all packed up. Um, thank you for watching. And remember, hike your hike, and if you like what you see.